says it's setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. Well, how's Stephanie? I mean, not Stephanie, how's Sheila? Hold on, just, we'll, we're gonna pray for her. Welcome everyone. We are here with these wonderful graduates. This is the perfect fit first graduating class um, for Christian yoga. I just wanted to let everybody know we are here to celebrate. And the reason why we are here today is because these ladies have worked so hard the past seven weeks. Um, they have prayerfully, um, scripturally, um, and through Christian meditation have committed their yoga teaching style to that to be centered around Christ. And so um, we're just going to invite God into this time. Uh, this is our group meeting time in the seven weeks, every week, uh, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Central Time, we meet as a group. And we're actually missing one of our wonderful group members who is uh, in the hospital right now. So we're going to pray over her as well as these um, trainees that are graduating today. And we're going to find time to celebrate as a group. So would you join us in prayer, please? Father God, you tell us in your word. Psalm 118, verse 24, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God, we're rejoicing over these five trainees, these wonderful women, Lord, who are dedicated to teaching a Christian style of yoga. They have committed to having a ministry on the mat. They have committed, Lord, to sharing scriptures and speaking that over their students. They are going to pray in their classes. They're going to exonerate you through Christian meditation. Uh, God, we pray for them in this commission that this would be um, that this would be a place, Lord, for them to win souls for Christ, to transform hearts, minds, bodies, and spirits for the love of Christ. And I pray, God, that you would equip them to do all good works here today and into eternity. Jesus, we invite you into this time of celebration. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, ladies. We are going to open up our meeting, and I ask each one of you to prepare a little script, just a little script on um, what your experience has been, your personal testimony uh, here in Christ. And so I would love to start off. I'm going to go around to each one of us, and um, I have been prayerful about God giving us a word for God to give us a word um, over each one of you. And so the word that I have come up with for Kelly, she's going to kick us off, is the word strength. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And Kelly, is an, she has a long uh, amount of time here as an expert in the industry of yoga. She is a traditionally trained yoga instru instructor who um, had her own yoga studio at one time. Um, she has talked about this desire that she has had in her heart to be able to teach a Christian style. She has a spirit of perseverance about her. And I just want her to share with us her experience um, and what, what has happened in your life, Kelly, in the past seven weeks as a result of taking this training. Um, I have enjoyed diving into God's word and getting a better understanding of scripture. And I did, I wrote something. So is it okay if I read that? Absolutely. Please okay, do it. So I am very happy. I decided to pursue um, Christian yoga teacher training with Miranda. And I've enjoyed these past seven weeks. And throughout my training, my still small voice, as I hear God's sense, I, as I hear and sense God kept me on track and encouraged me along the way. I am still a work in progress with studying scripture and blending them with yoga. So this training was an eye and a heart opening experience. I battled a lot of resistance to old patterns and strongholds and still the Lord guided me. And the scripture I found on that is Psalm 138.3. On the day I called, you answered me my strength of soul you increased. And that really spoke to me. So Miranda and the group of trainees were very supportive 
And my faith has grown by memorizing scriptures and increasing my self-confidence in sharing my faith, God's word, and my gift of teaching in one nice, lovely package. It was a very nice surprise, and it's a direct result of the training. And my knowledge has multiplied by spending intentionally time studying his word. And that time was very well spent. Um, my faith and teaching skills have also grown through the lessons of learning how to use scripture themed um, classes, which was very new to me. And I also discovered by studying there was limited, uh, um, limitless ideas of themes to teach. And that reminds me of God's love, that his, his love is completely limitless with us. So the concepts of scripture and prayer and meditation, weaving them into classes, I hope that will up, uplift and serve clients. And the class format that Miranda taught us, the outline is um, great to create classes that glorify God. And um, that's really what I wanted to learn to do and what I did. So my biggest takeaway is adjusting my intention towards God's word. And hopefully I will be able to lead people to Christ and yoga very respectfully. So I'm very, very happy that I went through this training and um, the love and encouragement that I felt um, even just seeing people on Facebook or reading people on Facebook in our group, but knowing that there was women out there that were doing the same thing um, and probably feeling the same challenges made it all the better. So I'm very, very happy that I did it. I totally would suggest this training for anybody who is has a little bit of a tug on their heart that they pray about it and then I'll, I'll, then speak with Miranda and let her encourage you because that's that's the way how I got here. Oh, Kelly, thank you so much for your beautiful words. Um, guys, let's, Kelly, do you have your certificate of completion that you put next to your face? Do you have your certificate of completion? Is it? It took me three hours to print it. Just kidding. Okay. If you would just hold that up and we're all going to cheer and clap and I'm going to do my, I'm going to ring my little bell. I've got my crown on for you, Kelly. <laughs> Yay. 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 Kelly awesome. is a certified Christian yoga instructor. Praise Thank the you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. So next, God placed upon my heart with Stephanie, the word of peace. Mm -hmm. Matthew 5, 9, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. And Stephanie has already created we part of what our training was about. Uh, the last module is seven weeks, seven modules. The last module was the business of yoga. And we talked about creating a brand. We talked about being excellent for Christ. We talked about um, and giving ourselves a name as we go out here and we launch this. And so she has created now Beach Life Yoga. Her name is Stephanie Beach, which I just thought was Totally a perfect little um, nod to her last name, but also her creativity. She's a professional artist. Um, she has beautiful artwork that she's been commissioned for, and she has a beautiful spirit. She's now feeling called to lead yoga in her community. She lives in a small town here in Texas, just right outside of Fort Worth, and she is feeling called to lead Christian yoga as a ministry. So Stephanie, we're going to turn it over to you. Would you share with us? all that's happened to you in these past seven weeks. Hi, thank you so much, Miranda. Um, I'm just so uh, blessed to have uh, come into your studio back in Ridgely Hills and I lived in Fort Worth. And, and uh, I decided to continue my yoga journey uh, due to your mentorship and just your example. And uh, I just, you know, all this kind of came together when you talked to me about this, and I'll, I'll kind of read my statement to make a little more sense. Uh, this training has uh, reinforced the fact that I'm certain I've been called to profess God's word to others, and I've gained the confidence to speak to others about God in my community and at my church. Uh, I've invited my friends to church and proclaimed his word more freely. I just wouldn't have felt as comfortable with that in the past as I, I, as I do now. My biggest takeaway has to be to know that I'm adjusting and able to adjust and according to my audience, be confident 
and how I can gently lead them into God's word. I can incorporate his teachings in so many ways to class in a, in a subtle way or in a straightforward manner. It's just, you were so great at teaching us how to do that. It just made a lot of sense to me as it came together uh, throughout the weeks. I've uh, always loved yoga because it honors my body and health and, and God loves us unconditionally. So it makes perfect sense to incorporate him in that practice. It's just, why wouldn't you do that? So as I've deepened my Bible study, my own faith personally, I've been doing that throughout this last year, especially in COVID. Um, we had a really t- tight knit group of people at church that where we studied and in Zoom and in person when we could. And it was just really, really encouraging. Um, I'm able to relate to God's word more in my everyday life as well. So the training has boosted my confidence and my yoga abilities as a practitioner and a teacher. I'm still doing, I'm still in the middle of my training. I'm still trying, I have a little bit more to do, but um, this is um, really kind of helped me kind of boost me into that next um, level on what I'm going to be doing in uh, my traditional training. I'm so excited to say that I'll be teaching a regular class at my church, um, and it's going to be advertised as a new ministry uh, that my uh, friends uh, who runs the children's ministry there, she's um, helping promote that for me, and I'm just really excited. I had uh, my second week this week of, of students, and both classes had um, seven to eight students in, in those, and they brought friends. Uh, I've struggled this year because I, I left the teaching community and my, I taught at university part-time and that was hard for me to make that decision, especially during COVID to leave. And, um, uh, but I feel like I understand why now um, God led me to make this decision. It just was so clear. Um, I'm seeing new opportunities to bring him and in, uh, into the lives of our community and it's just an awesome feeling. I, I just would encourage anyone that's thinking about this training to take the leap and leap of faith and go for it. Yeah. Because if you're feeling led to incorporate God into your practice, there's probably a reason for it. I, I know there was for me. Um, this class is just designed to bring out the joy that we already have in our hearts for God. And Miranda's done an awesome. She's just so great at bringing that joy out in our practice. And I just can't say enough about it. It's just, I'm, I just feel so, I have a lot of joy in my heart for God and, 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 and just thankful I'm able to do it. Mm. Woo! Stephanie, let's give her a round of applause. Hey! Okay. Woohoo! Thanks the Lord for Stephanie and this new ministry. We're so excited. We're so excited for her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that thank wonderful you. testimony. Okay. Next on the list is Miss Tina. And if you look right now at Tina, she is smiling. And I think she has smiled through every meeting we've ever had. And so she has the spirit of joy. I just see the spirit of joy in her. And it says in Psalm 71, 23, my lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, Mm. my soul also, which you have redeemed. So let's give it over to Miss Tina. Tell us in these seven weeks of intensive training, I think Tina used that word, that it was intensive uh, for all the right reasons. Tell us what you've learned, Tina. Um, Thank you so much, Miranda. You just made me smile even even bigger. Um, Two, two seconds of history about me that I wrote up to share with you guys today is that um, I am a traditionally trained yoga teacher, pretty, pretty fresh. I graduated during COVID, COVID so I haven't um, done any teaching um, at this point. Um, but um, I love the physical practice of yoga. And about five years ago, the doctor told me the only way to eliminate my back pain was to strengthen my core and referred me to a book that I think was written in like the 1950s. Um, that really was almost yoga poses, um, like Cobra and things like that without talking about yoga. And so that kind of started my journey that has led me where I am today. And, um, Throughout my traditional yoga teacher training, I, I had such a conflict in my 
in my spirit about what I was doing and what I was learning. And I almost backed out at the last minute and lost thousands of dollars um, um, for, that I had paid to that teacher training, but I went ahead and, and went through it. Um, but I, I just, I never felt comfortable. I graduated and I was done um, and never felt totally comfortable. And, and the more I learned in that training, the more I stopped to think, what's, what am I doing that I shouldn't be doing? Um, and so I started digging in and, and doing some research and that led me to Miranda's book. Um, and I ended up corresponding with her via email. And then I got the email about this uh, teacher training class and quickly responded. And um, I will share what I said to Miranda the first time we talked is I, I don't know that I want my yoga class to be a Bible study. Um, and now I can't believe, and I'm even embarrassed to share that with you guys, but I think it's important for you to know, because maybe other people are, were feeling that same exact thing. I don't know what I'm getting into. I had never even been to um, a Christian yoga class at that point. So I, I didn't know what I was getting into, but um, not only did Miranda through the seven weeks of this class, um, give me what I will say are tools. I always talk about tools in my tool belt, um, that help me through life. Um, give me the tools to create a spiritually safe yoga practice for myself. Um, and it, any classes that I lead in the future, but by digging in, um, and studying God's word, my walk with God has really deepened through this. Um, and, I think that's the most profound thing that I can walk away from this training with. Um, and I realize now that prayer can be so much more uh, powerful and impactful on my life um, with some of the concepts that Miranda taught us just about prayer and scripture. And, and up until now, I mean, my Bible studies have been Bible studies through a book. You know, I always felt like I needed a book. I would finish one Bible study and what am I going to do next? Let me get my next Bible study book. But um, Miranda also helped me figure out that I don't need a book to read the Bible and um, dig into scripture. And so um, I will share just a little funny ending here that I decided to pick one Bible first that I was going to um, memorize for the week. And then I was going to read the whole chapter and, and, and compare it with a commentary and really dig into what the Bible verse said to me. Well, I decided to pick Psalms 119 verse 11. And I think I have the, that right. I'm not looking at it. Uh, I just thought to share this with you guys, but Psalms 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible, if you didn't know that. So I didn't meet my one week goal <laughs> because I decided to choose the longest chapter in the Bible and it's taking me a little bit longer, but I would have never done that before this class. And so I, it's just, I feel like I, I can view, um, learning and, and I feel like I, I have the understanding to just open the Bible and read it on my own without a Bible study. And so that's, that's really huge for me at this point in my life. So that that's it. Yes, that's beautiful, Tina. That's so beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. And I love too that um, Tina, just a little bit more about her. I wanted to get into the fact that she works a full-time job and that she is going to use this in a ministry. So now we see her certificate. We want to see that and let's cheer. Yay! Yay! Yes. Good job, Tina. So she has a, she is going to share this in a very profound way. So I'm so grateful for Tina and so glad she did it. Woohoo! <laughs> yes. Okay. So we're moving on down to Jenny. And Jenny has a just, I'm not sure if you were during this training, if you're, if you're wondering what some of it's about every week, we would introduce a new module and there would be five lessons, which in the, within the module, plus an introduction and a recap. And at the end of each module and at the end of each lesson, um, we had to make, make a video teaching yoga and putting these new key elements into place, like scriptural um, affirmation, scriptural themes, Christian meditation, prayer, so uh, Jenny is a very creative person. 
She is a professional dancer, and I'll let her tell a little bit more about her background. She has been in the traditional yoga world for quite a while, and she's also been in some other type of practices that have a very much have a world view. So I believe it was Jenny who first reached out to me when I started the Christian yoga community and was asking specifically about saying namaste. Is that correct, Jenny? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, she started the wheels turning for me. I had already been praying about namaste myself. Um, I did a whole webinar. Should I say namaste? The answer every Christian yogi wants to know, but that Jenny planted a little seed to that, that helped to spark this. And, and get this momentum going for this teacher training. So um, she might not know that little tidbit, but for her, the scripture that, um, that I prayed over for her is from 1 Peter 2, 9, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession that you may proclaim excellency, excellencies of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Mm. Mm. So I would love for Jenny to share with us what's happened to her in these past seven weeks of training. Wow, thank you, thank you. Um, So during this training, I got COVID and I went through that devastating winter storm. um, And um, I also felt led to finally find uh, my partner in life. I used to not believe in marriage and now I do, and I'm making an effort towards finding the right man. So a lot of kind of life-changing experiences uh, for me. Um, So I've I've been teaching yoga for 10 years and um, belly dancing professionally um, as well, a little over 10 years. And um, what led me to Christ was a knee injury and I, used to use belly dance as my altar and it was my everything. And then when it got taken away from me, I was like, I need a miraculous healing, which it's sad that I had to, I went to Christ because I needed healing. You know, it should be the other way around, you know, but that's what happened to me. And that's how God used, uh, I guess my injury for me to go back to him. Um, cause I grew up in a Catholic house household. So, um, so it started with me, um, seeking Christ in September. And then a month later, I got into the Christian yoga community group and I became very curious and I was very interested because all this time that I've been teaching yoga, um, especially the last five years, I've been taking more of a physical approach because I, something about the spiritual side, I wasn't really jiving with, even though I went through a Kundalini yoga teacher training and I learned about the chakras and I would teach about them. I kind of stopped because I wasn't really connected to it for a reason. So now I'm really happy that I have finally found a way to bring spirituality into a yoga class, um, honoring God the way that I truly believe should be honored. Um, This training has, it it has given me way more than I expected, um, way more. Uh, Besides being completely ready and prepared to give a Christian yoga class, Um, I mean, Miranda was great about providing resources, like outside resources to read, to to teach you about how to use scripture, how to pray or, or devotionals. Like I've written devotion. I've, I've done things I didn't even think I could do in such a short amount of time, writing devotionals, prayers, like, wow. I, I, and I shared with a, with a close Christian group of friends, you know, some of the work that I've done and they're super impressed with the rate that my, uh, faith has, has grown. Um, Mm. it just, the amount of time that, that this training takes, it's, it's precious and it's golden and it's valuable. Um, and, and I love all the various ways that we can incorporate, uh, Christianity and ways to honor God into our classes and we can pick and choose. There's not one or one right or wrong way. And what Mm. I love the most is that I've been, I've, I've, I've learned and I feel confident to, teach secular students, to teach a Christian class to secular students in a very clever and subtle way. <laughs> uh, and I'm really excited. And, and, then, and then one of the biggest things that just recently hit me is that the talents that I have gathered throughout the years, um, when I wasn't honoring God and when I wasn't praying a whole bunch, 
all of that, all of those performances, all of those classes that I created um, are, have prepared me and have given me these gifts and talents, ambition, determination, like all of this stuff I've already had, boldness and courage, I have always had it. And I was just talking to Miranda on my last mentor call, how I was feeling insecure about teaching a Christian class to secular communities and being bold about saying, I'm a Christian in front of atheists and people that don't believe in God. And, and, and now I'm like, but I already have that boldness in me. God put that in me. I can do it. I just have to apply it where it's meant to be applied. So mm -hmm. that was like the big, the biggest kind of like light bulb or enlightenment or whatever moment that I had just within a day <laughs> right now, to like recently, it's like, I have it all in me. Like all this stuff I've been doing all these years before this training, now it's like, I know how to utilize my gifts and, and touch people and serve people in my community, my secular communities, the way that God wants me to. So, mm. yeah. Woo! Do you, do you have your certificate you want to show us, Jenny? Right here. Right here. Imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yay. All right, yay. let's all give her a big cheer. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Woo way to go. Good job, Jenny. <laughs> it's right here. Okay, let's see. <laughs> there's a little bit of lag time. If you do Facebook Live ever, there's a little bit of lag time. So, um, all right. We are missing one of our beloveds here, and her name is Sheila. Mm -hmm. And Sheila has a spirit of perseverance. Mm -hmm. I, I hope we all remember Sheila as every week she would come and she would talk about, um, you know, a specific struggle as her as, as, as an instructor. And so first Chronicles 1611 says, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. And I know that she was doing that right now. Um, and so we just pray for health and healing over Sheila today. And, and she's not with us here, but her spirit is here with us. And uh, we just pray that Jesus would bring her back quickly and to full health. Mm -hmm. So let's all give Sheila a round of applause and a little cheer. Yay! Woo! Hey, Sheila. Sheila. Sheila, Sheila. Okay. Yay, Sheila. So um, let's finish with just a couple of questions here. Um, do all of us feel confident now and ready to teach Christian yoga? Yes. Is that a resounding? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. 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 Um, are we ready to have a ministry from the mat? Yes. 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 Good. And and are we all all of everyone here is a traditionally trained yoga instructor, correct? Yes. Right. So the neat, the neat aspect for everyone here is that they receive their 200 hour training from some any type of yoga school. They all have different types of yoga backgrounds. Some of them are teaching kundalini, some are power, some are uh, more of a gentle, uh, more of a restorative. Um, so the neat thing about the perfect fit training is the, this aspect of the training, the spiritual side rooted in Christ can adapt to any 200 hour training. And they have spent 40 hours. <laughs> we have talked about it. It's probably been a little more than 40 hours. Um, I'm still would love to get a, a, a number, an accurate number, but they have 40 hours of continuing education credits and they're now certified in Christian yoga so they can move forth with that. So ladies, I just want to um, say a benediction over you. Mm -hmm. um, so if we just want to think of this as our closing prayer, or our, our palms can be up, hands to the heart. Um, as we get ready to go into the world and share this ministry from the map. Now go into the world in peace, have courage, hold on to what is good, Honor all men, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the suffering, share the gospel, love and serve the Lord in the power of the Holy Spirit, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. Well, Christian Yoga Community, we're going to continue our meeting on, but we just want to say goodbye. Thank you for having us. We hope that um, if you have any questions about Christian Yoga or Christian Yoga teacher training, 
I'd be happy to help you with that. Uh, please just keep these ladies in your prayers. They're going into the world to do good works. Thank you so much for having us, Christian Yoga Community.